If you've always wanted to drink mojitos and smoke cigars on the streets of Cuba, you're in luck. Now's your time. CBS News travel editor Peter Greenberg took on the tough assignment of seeing Cuba on one of the first trips in nearly a decade. Stepping into Cuba feels very much like stepping back in time. 1950s cars and crumbling mansions line streets filled with legendary music and distinct charms. It's a place that has captivated and mystified the attention of its U.S. neighbors for years. We were on the verge of coming here, shall we say, less Like many Americans, Karen and Gap Kovac from Tampa, Florida, toyed with the idea of making the trip through a third country, but decided against it. Because I didn't want to lose my passport. I mean, you know, so I said, no, we'll wait until it clears. But on this trip, they landed in Cuba completely legally. We have around a 20 minute ride uh, into Havana. For the first time in seven years, adventurous travelers longing to see Cuba are finally able to satisfy their curiosities, all thanks to a change in policy implemented by the Obama administration earlier this year. But don't be misled. In order to see the sights, you have to play by the rules. You have to have a program which is educational about what's happening in Cuba and where there is direct contact with Cuban people, not just the waiter who's bringing you the mojito at the pool. More than a dozen American entities have been granted licenses by the Treasury Department to bring groups of Americans into Cuba for either educational, religious, Let's go into the square. or people to people tour. Newlywed Jenny and Corey Davis jumped on one of the very first licensed tours with a group named Insight Cuba. They have to be cultural trips, so you have an itinerary, you have to stick with the group. You can't do certain things on your own. We have many friends in the United States. Which means you have to sit through a lecture here and a talk there in order to have the privilege of seeing Cuba. Our group's itinerary included a stop at a local orphanage a museum dedicated to the Cuban Revolution, and an organized block party. The official goal? For Americans and Cubans to foster relationships lost under years of a strict embargo. Unfortunately, under that same embargo, while Americans can see Cuba, they can't bring much of it home. Buying anything classified as art is permitted. Purchasing the famous cigars isn't, but no one gets slapped for smoking them. Even with the monetary restrictions, there's no doubt that increased American travel will have a positive impact on the island nation's economy. It will mean more income in Cuba, both for entrepreneurs who run little restaurants and run a bed and breakfast in their homes, and artists, and, and many others, and certainly more income for the, for the Cuban tourism industry. Cubans caution that although helpful, this is only one small step. The real step will be lifting the blockade totally without anything to say. You have to come under this category, you have to come under that category. So if people can go any place in the world, why not come into Cuba? For the foreseeable future, though, there's no other way around it. Hasta if you want to see, taste, and experience a country cut off from America for almost half a century, you'll have to participate in some pre-planned activities. But no one on our trip seemed to miss sitting by the pool. It has been such an incredibly educational experience. We have met very passionate people, and it is the people interaction that's been very valuable. And nothing could make the Cubans happier. They learn from us, exactly from us, from the Cuban people. That's important. And joining us now, our travel man, Peter Green. Take a great trip. It was, but I have to tell you, unfortunately, it's not cheaper right now. A week with Inside Cuba, the group that you went with, yeah. will set you back about $1,800. That's the bad news. The good news is the law and supply and demand is kicking in. Mm -hmm. Would you believe right now, it's from Florida to Cuba, over 300 now. Uh, Delta wow. Airlines has just announced new charter service. American Eagle is now servicing this as a charter flight. And now with more flights, those are now. But the vacation? You bet. <laughs> it's the oh, of course. So everybody everybody had a chance to kind of sneak out and do their own stuff. And just to clarify, the art of cigar rolling, not an art that you purchase and bring, bring back. Home. You can smoke it there, but don't bring, <laughs> it, bring back. it back. Peter, thanks. More to come.